Good morning, everybody. If you cannot tell, I don't think I've vlogged since I did my hair. I posted it on Instagram, so it feels like old, even though I only got it done a week ago. But I decided to go back to what I assume is not my natural color. I was definitely a blondie as a child and an adolescent, but the older I get, the darker my hair starts to get at the root. And I am so bad about getting my hair done like regularly. I think I go like every six months. And that's because my friend does it and we kind of just do it when we both have time. We don't actually schedule. So um, yeah, I decided something that would be lower maintenance and I don't know, it's so crazy. Every time I look in the mirror, I still am like, is that me? <laughs> I'm really happy with it though. I think it'll hopefully be a lot easier for me to take care of and I won't have this like giant line if everything goes according to plan at least. But yeah, the shock of still seeing myself in the camera is, is weird. <laughs> Anyways, I just dropped Emma off at school. I'm gonna go home for a little bit. I'm gonna try and clean up a little bit and then um, Justin's home right now but he's leaving for the weekend. By the time you guys watch this, he will be home already, but um, he's leaving for the weekend for a camp. So I just wanna run a couple errands and stock up on everything for the weekend that I'll need while I am alone with the kids. I need to pick up our taxes from our tax guy as well, and I don't think he's open yet anyway. So go home, do a couple cleaning little bits, and then off to run a couple of errands, and we'll see what else. You guys look like you're building something. What are you building? I A dino castle with that? Yeah. Whoa. Dino castle. What are you building? Uh, a Rapunzel's, a Rapunzel's, a Rapunzel's house. Rapunzel's tower? Uh, yeah. And now my assistant's going to join me so I can show you one of the things I'm most excited about. It's done. Wait, no, wait, wait. I am so happy with it. I think I mentioned in the last vlog that we were getting a custom bookshelf put in and it looks good. Justin, show them. So beautiful. You. Me? The bookshelf's pretty too. And it even fits like perfectly behind the dining room table so we don't have to move the chairs. The only thing is that now this is off center but it was kind of already off center. With this, because yeah. Because it was off center with the window. So we just need to scoot it over like just a, six inches just a little or something, bit. so it looks a little silly, but it's not. It was already off center. This, anything, this isn't even in the main attraction. You are. You're my main attraction. If, if anything, this helped with the dining room, like... Feel. No, not even that. It's it's the window was not centered oh, on yeah. this wall. And now that this takes up part of the wall, the window is centered. Yeah. It's like it was meant to be. It's perfect. And I decorated it yesterday. That slide's so good. <laughs> Here, wait. Let me see if I can get a good one. You went all the way! I'm just so happy with it. It's like a dream come true. I love it so much. I can't wait to fill the entire thing. It's gonna take me forever, but I don't care because I love it so much. Do you want to buy it, Buy it, Buy it, Buy it, Buy it, Buy it, all right, which one is which? Our kids are still loving these Haya vitamins. Okay, this one is obviously Emma's. She decorated it with her name. I think that this one was Asher's and this one was Ruben's. What color do you want? Uh, this one is Asher's. Uh, Ruben, do you know what color you want? Red. I talked about these last time I was on here, but we love these Haya vitamins. We've tried so many children's vitamins and typical children's vitamins are basically candy in disguise, full of two teaspoons of sugar and unhealthy chemicals and other gummy junk that growing kids should never eat. And that's why we love these so much. They fill in the most common gaps in modern children's diet to provide the full body nourishment that our kids need with obviously a yummy taste that they love. They look forward to these every day. They're also non-GMO, vegan, dairy-free, allergy-free, gelatin-free, nut-free, and everything else you can imagine. And right now, Haya is offering my viewers 50% off of your first purchase. Just go to HayaHealth.com slash Rochelle or click the link that's in the description box down below. And thank you again to Haya for sponsoring this video. We love these. Good morning. Okay, the weekend is over. Justin is home. We actually went up to go visit him um, up in the mountain. We call it the mountain. It's Idlewild. Um, we went up to go visit him at the camp he was at this weekend. We had so much fun. There was like a creek that we played in. Unfortunately, there was no snow. I was bummed about that. I thought there was gonna be snow. And we got to visit him and play. I'll put like a couple pictures and videos. It was so fun.
but we are home now. Um, I'm going to try and pick a bunch of lemons from our lemon tree because there's so many. Like we probably have like 300 lemons on one tree alone and I haven't even started on the Meyer lemon. And I'm gonna go put them on the front porch to give away to some neighbors because there's no way we're gonna use all of these and I don't want them to rot and fall on the ground. This will be the second time I'm doing this this week and there's still so many. This is the first lemon tree. There's just so many. I can't even begin to grab them all. And then this is the Meyer lemon tree. These are my personal favorite. I think that they're much sweeter, but I haven't even begun to pick these either there's just too many and then these are the trees that we had put in it's been almost a year now i think so this one is a bear's lime it didn't produce at all this year um this is a mandarin which it looks like this is starting to grow a little bit more which i'm really really excited about we also have an orange tree that is producing like crazy this year and I'm so excited. This is an apricot tree. I had an apricot tree um, on my grandpa's property when I was growing up. And they're like one of my favorite fruits ever. It grew so much. The leaves fall off in the winter, so it looks kind of dead, but it's not. It just started producing the little buds. And I'm so excited to see if we get any actual apricots this year. This is just turning into a garden update, I guess. The ground cover we put in is spreading like crazy, which I'm so excited about. And the apple tree grew so much last winter as well. I'm so excited to see what we get from that this year. The plumbagos are looking good. Everything is looking great. It is winter though. It'll be much prettier in the summer. I just picked this entire bag and it feels like I didn't even put a dent in it. Look how big some of these lemons are. I'm holding three that are like ginormous. This entire bag is full and I feel like I didn't even begin to touch how many lemons are really in this tree. I actually think I'm gonna have Justin take this to our church. And since we already gave some to our neighbors, let the people at church go at this. Oh my God, this is probably like a hundred. Okay, and then this is our orange tree that I need to also clean off. Look how many oranges we got this year. They're not as sweet as I would have hoped. I think that, I don't know what kind they are because this tree was obviously here when we moved in, but they're not mandarins. They're really little, but there's so many that I need to pick as well. And maybe, maybe I'll have Justin take some of those to church too. And some grapefruits, which honestly I don't love, but some people do. I need to make a super quick Costco run. I'm gonna see if hopefully they have everything I need here and I got here kind of early, so hopefully there are no lines. Okay, this ended up being a bigger trip than I had anticipated, so I'm gonna have to do a haul when I get home. Costco always does that. She saw me carry these in and was like, give me one. What is that? Nina. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little Costco haul. I haven't done one of these in a while and we needed to grab a couple things. We didn't get really like a lot of meat because I have a lot of chicken in the freezer and we also are purchasing a quarter of a cow that I think will be ready in the next like two or three weeks. So I didn't want to stock up on a bunch of meat but um, and we have chicken in the freezer. Obviously I got bananas. I got some blueberries. I got a rotisserie chicken because on Monday nights the kids all have dance and it's a little chaotic. I usually like to cook the whole chicken myself because um, I like, I don't know, I feel like it tastes better. But for $5 at Costco on Monday nights, it's a lifesaver. Justin and I just ran out of coffee. I found out I liked that one when I was postpartum, I think, with Faye. Got some bread for sandwiches. These are on sale for like $2. I'm thinking the kids might like them. They're supposed to be healthier, healthier cheap. <laughs> we love these. Um, with dinners, hi! And also making like their own little pizzas. These are for Justin because he's obsessed with cashews. And these are a good snack for puppies for the kids. That is also a snack for, oh God, for everybody. I feel like they raised the price on Pup Mix. I swear it used to be like $5, it's like nine. And they put chips in there. The tortilla chips at Costco are the best because you get so many. Those I got, that's not food. 
But I got one of these each one for Emma. She's going into first grade. Just some worksheets and stuff to work on during like the summertime I was thinking. And then I got this one for the boys. I'll share between them preparing for TK, which I can't believe. Yes. And then uh, some wheat thins. Justin and I were just saying that we can't really, we both haven't had wheat thins since we were like kids, but these were on sale. And last but not least, giant thing of chicken nuggets. We're gonna save these for the summertime. And I think that's it. It's definitely not one of those like aesthetically pleasing pantries, but it's a full pantry. And I'm grateful that we have that. We have got like a bunch of little nuts we gotta work our there. Justin and I love these, but we've got lots of snacks. Good for the week, I think. I think we'll use that rotisserie chicken to shred it up and make some sort of pasta for dinner. And then I showed these, but I think that these are awesome from Costco. They were $8 each. These are gonna be really great for the kids to work on during the summertime, I think. Um, we're trying to figure out what school is going to look like next year, so just trying to stay ahead of the game because it's coming quickly. And the total for that Costco haul, I think, was 137, so not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. Definitely not cheap. Groceries are crazy. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I'm actually thinking the next video I do, I'm gonna do a um like a reading wrap-up for January and February just to share some more of my book loves that I've been really into. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can you say hi? And we will talk to you again soon. Bye.